All right, uh, next up is Hello MD. Hello MD, three, two, go. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Hadfield from Hello MD, and we're creating the largest marketplace for medical cannabis. Now, when I say marijuana, some of you probably think of this type of an image. We all know a day from our past. But let me show you, uh, introduce you to the faces, or the new faces of cannabis. These are moms, dads, professionals, people like you and I, and there are millions of them out there. This is also an unstoppable international trend, now legal in 30 states in America, and most recently in countries like Canada, Argentina, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, and even my home country of South Africa are all legalizing medical cannabis. Uh, the green rush is on. Forbes estimates a $22 billion market just three years from now, from currently $7 billion, so massive growth happening right at the moment. Now, we started HelloMD uh, 24 months ago in California with a simple smartphone connection to a doctor over a live video consultation to become legal. But we didn't stop there. What we found was that our patients were often confused about the overwhelming array of choices in the cannabis world, and they had all sorts of questions about their health and wellness, which products to, work, to choose, how, what to take, what strength, etc. So we connect these patients into a network of medical professionals and other experts. They can go through our website, they can find threaded discussions, video explainers, educational articles, you name it. Everything they need to navigate the confusing and interesting world of medical cannabis. Uh, we've quickly grown to a community of 150,000 members, and we're presently adding 10,000 new members per month. Our growth has been fueled by over 400 business partners who have partnered up with us, and our strategy of user-generated content, which has created through the power of organic search, uh, a situation where our customer acquisition cost has been close to zero. Uh, we generated $1.9 million in top-line revenue in 2016, and the company is currently cash flow break-even. So it's been a great start. But here's the big idea. There's currently no national online retailer for cannabis, no Amazon of cannabis. Well, let me introduce you to the HelloMD product marketplace, a marketplace where, just like Amazon, hundreds of retailers list thousands of products, their prices and availability, and you can make your selection, be educated on your choice, and then make a purchase and have it delivered to your home. Now, this is live on our website today, and all we need to do is turn on the e-commerce capabilities in order to become that national online retailer, that Amazon of cannabis. In so doing, we will move up the value chain from content to transactions, and with the size and growth of our community, quickly become a very valuable company. Now, to execute on an opportunity as big as this, you have to have a great team. I personally have created four successful tech companies, and I'm surrounded by a team of seasoned professionals from Silicon Valley uh, who know how to execute. We're raising money on Seed Invest, and I'd encourage you to go and invest in the company. The company's cash flow positive today. We'll be cash flow positive again in 2018, uh, and we're targeting 18 million in top line revenue for 2018. <coughs> Thank okay. you. Okay, well done. Big round of applause. All right. We're noticing a theme here, <laughs> um, but sincerely, the venture capitalists uh, and traditional angel investors have shied away from cannabis investments, correct? Uh, with some exceptions, yes. Okay. Uh, so this alternate path, uh, equity crowdfunding, seems like an interesting opportunity. Uh, feedback from our judges. Uh, quick question. When are you guys going to turn on the store, Mark? When are we turning on the e-commerce? The, the e-commerce store. And when We're in the process ready? of doing it, so it's probably within eight weeks, I'd say. Yep. You, you have um, competitors in this market, obviously, uh, companies like Meadow. Um, how are you differentiating against some of these companies? And it's obviously a, a rapidly growing market. I'm, I'm assuming others will get into it as well. It is. Everybody uh, is focused on a slightly different aspect. Meadow specifically is more of a sort of point of sale type system. They also have a marketplace, but they're sort of very focused on the seed to sale, tracking the, the in-store uh, uh, inventory, etc. cetera. Uh, we're a demand side platform. That's our goal. We want to be tens of millions of users, not just nationally, but also internationally. Uh, and then we will monetize it differently in different uh, territories. Can, can you sell... Uh, Will you be able to sell online in, in a non-medical context in a state where it is legal for recreational use? Yes, we will. You will. Absolutely. So you'll be able to do that as soon as you get the site up? Correct. We can yeah. do that, absolutely. That, that strikes me as the whole business because in, in my, I, I think the medical marijuana business will be at its peak the week before that state 
legalizes for re recreational use. Actually, we have a different hypothesis. So we believe it's a bell curve. Uh, on the left, you've got uh, recreational users. On the right, very sick people. In the middle, health and wellness consumers. For example, 110 million people in America with chronic pain, 60 million with anxiety, 40 million with migraines. Uh, these people haven't entered the market yet, but they will, and when they do, it's all about health and wellness. That's interesting. So, yeah. so let me just understand, because like, you kind of threw this thing out there, and I'm following. So you, you set up this doctor service to get, presumably, some sort of prescription uh, for cannabis. Then you realize you needed this community... It started creating content, getting very low cost of customer acquisition, and then you realized you should have a store. So this was sort of the migration of the business? Yes, that's pretty well described. I mean, there's a journey that you go on, and we want to provide all of the solutions for the customer, the answers that they have. Right now, it's a pretty fragmented experience. We started with a doctor's consult. Right. Yeah. So uh, I guess, you know, maybe Hello MD wouldn't be the best brand for the Amazon of cannabis. Have you thought about rebranding or Actually, we like our brand. Yeah, we like our brand. Uh, we, we're very focused on the health and wellness consumer, as I said. We don't want to be, you know, although recreational patients may purchase products from us, that's not what we're focused on. There's plenty of companies focused on recreational sites, so we do like our brand. Also, we're in California. You know, not every state is going to go recreational. Not every country is going to go recreational. And so I think the health and wellness orientation, the doctor is an important piece. What are your biggest regulatory concerns? So we're a tech platform. We don't touch the plant. So we certainly have to be cognizant of regulations in every territory. That's why we've been very careful about our expansion. Um, but we're not hindered by, for example, interstate commerce laws, uh, all sorts of licensing laws in order to have licenses because we don't touch the plant. Yeah. So we can, ex we can scale quickly across okay. different territories. Let's hear it for HelloMD. Well done. Yeah.